a winsome woman. Sorry, I'm late. A victor, you know. I'm, I'm very resourceful. Blowing your father in the vestibule was the best path to ensuring your hand in marriage, my dear. Well, I thought it was wonderful to watch, Victor. You'd still be waiting to dance with me at the ball. The only ball I remember was your father's hitting my chin while dancing. You stepped on me many times. And I'll never forget how well you played the beat salami, as we call it here in the 18th century or whatever. By the way, how's today's ass? Better? Well, anyway, <laughs> that I am what they call a powerful bottom. Oh, you're fine. Your beauty along waits always rewarded. Now let me clean these glasses for the first time since I've met you. Dear God! Victor, I'm dying! Please don't smell my bedpan like you like to do, it's weird! Victor, if I die, please put my face on your favorite Ahagao coat, waistcoat. I'm sorry, I don't think I pronounced Ahagao in the way I should. Second base only, Victor! Count Edmund Steinrot. Yeah, I trust him. <laughs> it says his name is Dr. Acula. I'll go for it, though. Count, you could say, sucks at going to bed. Do you mean vampire or fellatio? Never mind. Steinrot sounds like an STD you'd get in a Souls game. You know I, uh, not strictly scientific, yes. <laughs> you know I do tend to stare at vaginas in judgment. Yeah, that's fine. I've given up on I've tried everything else. No, I'm just mean regarding them, Victor. I understand. Yeah, I right, yeah. You know I'm a quack, right? I believe I forgot my vibration device, the hand crank. I'm so tired. Don't worry, I'll go crank it right now. The device. Oh, good, I could not go to bed without my oscillation machine. How do you like the room?